we are out here in no man's land and uh, I figured I would drive by H and Defense. Uh, I'm a big supporter of that company. I make the best battle rifle on, rifle on the market by far. Uh, as long as you shoot brass through it. Do not try to shoot steel case through it. Uh, the tolerances are so tight on the chamber you can't shoot steel case through it. But I figure I'd drive by out here to show y'all how small of a company this place actually is. It's only a three-man unit. You got Clay, the owner, um, a female that works there, and then a dude, actually four. So there's two females working there a while back, and a dude. So it's a little four-person company. But I figure out I'm here, so like, <clears throat> I talk about them all the time. Might as well drive by and show you the company. I can't go in because it's Sunday. But, uh... I just don't drive by you. I show you the building and how small it is. And when you see the building, you're like, no shit. They build all these rifles out of this little bitty place. And it is. It's super something. It's super small. My brother's pole bar is bigger. It's about... Well, my brother's pole bar is probably bigger than the shop. Without the office. But anybody's looking for rifles. Man, there's a old Fox Body Mustang. Need some, need some help. But I could help it. For sure, maybe. As long as the strut towers are good in it. I know I'm all over the place, and I? But we had to come out to my brothers today. Uh, Silas and I are going to pick up a four-wheeler. Um, <laughs> my brother called me and asked me if I wanted it. I said, I don't have the money for it right now. You know, I spent all the money I spent all the money I got on my house trying to get it ready so we can sell it. So over the couple days of texting and talking back to him, he's like, well, maybe at the house tomorrow and we'll go get it. He texted me back and said, I'm, I'm having her. She don't have the title to it, but I'm gonna have, she's going to write a bill of sale up in your name. I'm like, why my name? He said, well, I thought you wanted the damn four-wheeler. I said, dude, we've been talking for two days about you getting it, not me. I already got my, you know, I can't afford it right now. I told you that the first text was, I can't afford it right now. He's like, well, fuck, I already told her I'm going to buy it, so I'll get it. And if you can just try to set, you know, to sell it for me. Because uh, uh, we got it for a better deal than what it's worth. Uh, I'll probably be doing a live stream with Siles and that thing later. But anyway, so I'm going to try to sell it for him or buy it from him. One of the two. Um, Silas wants it. Whatever. Just text or like comments and text are the worst thing in the world because there's no emotion in them. And then there's no. Uh, looks like they're working with it. Damn. I was gonna drive by here anyway. Oh shit! They're building onto it. Damn. HM Defense is growing. They're doubling their shop space. It looks like. No shit. They're not working today though on Sunday. Good for them. He told me last time I, I talked to him uh, a while back, this Nash Mouse business was full of shit. It's this building right here. That is all the that's all the bigger HM defense is. It's just a it's a, it's a little shop. It's bigger my my brother's shop me. My brother's shop is smaller than it is. Oh, I see it. There. Add it on to it. Good for play. They're already making their rifles are the shit. The absolute shit. <clears throat> but anyway, so I had to come out here help my brother get a full wheeler. That's why we're out here today. So I had to, to brother get some parts for his truck. And uh, Silas is raising at his house, raising hell on his full wheeler right now. Fun days. It's nice out, man. Trading stayed home to play computer or something. He didn't want to come for some reason. Fab shot, what the fuck is that? Fire hydrant, you know, damn soybean field. So we, we all don't have anything. Lost friends and customers over and texting me. And all. Yeah, texter, uh, I don't like texting, man. I, I generally don't. Just like when you're commenting with people, even on like YouTube. Like something can be said, just like the video that um, Fag Note made out of me, made for me the other day, where I said something, and he totally is too retarded to comprehend what was said. I didn't say it could happen. I said this doesn't happen. Steel frames don't flex on pistols. Fucking idiot. But he's he's just a, a baby bitch. Christy um, is going to challenge publicly challenged gay note to a boxing and a charity boxing match and we're gonna try to figure out how to do like a paper a pay-per-view with it and uh, that way everybody can see her whip his ass and 
no. Try to get Barricade Garage to uh, ref it. And then if, uh, in the rare chance that he was to beat her up, then I'm going to challenge him to a uh, no gloves match for him, gloved match for me. So I'll be wearing gloves, no gloves for him, uh, and no ref. Shits and giggles. Anyway, we're gonna, you know, I'm always going to be coming out of my name, I'm be coming out of your mouth. I'm going to be for beating you up. But I don't think, I think Chris is whoop his ass. I genuinely do. It's going to be fun to see. I can pass with the old single, but I can't understand the comments and stuff. Yeah, she was talking about it last night. I said, hey, you feel like whooping gay dudes ass? And she will too, man. Like, just like when we was in, in Columbus and them three dudes were having it out with her, I just walk away. I ain't got, you know, she don't take care of it. I think it's funny. His, his new name is Flex, though. He got renamed by Slow Burn. The artist known as Flex, formerly known as Gay Note, formerly known as the Snarky Shootist, formerly known as Gray Note. Anyway, screw that fan. Oh, I just figured I'd show you y'all. I, I always talk about ancient fence. That's where they're located at. My brother is living right down the road from. I lived out here for years. I'm missing out here. Zoom, zoom. Pete, go, PT Cruiser, go. Uh, I seen something I want to talk about. Oh, so, mental illness, man. If you notice over the past you know, decade, they've been pushing this mental illness thing. Everything's mental illness. Something happens, it's mental illness. Somebody gets mad, it's mental illness. Somebody gets shot, it's mental illness. Um, and now they are dictating who can say what based on misinformation. Like, the, I see, like do y'all see where this is going? Because I kind of see where it's going. I kind of see that uh, very shortly we will all be uh, mentally ill. And for that reason, and Silas is still out here driving and rides in circles, man. My brother don't want his yard tore up because it rained out the other day, so Silas just got he's got a big track rolled out back here where he's allowed to ride and he's he's rides around. He's out he's out here right he's out here doing his thing. Hey! Stop! Why why are you out here? Hold on a second, guys. Why are you riding all the way up here? Did Uncle Wayne say you could? You can't, don't come in front of those trees. Stay behind those trees. Put in first gear. See? In the first gear, you're in third gear. Go. He just wants to, I don't, he, go fast, man. He always wants to be in six gear for some reason. I keep telling him, I said, it's a lot funner when you got power, buddy. Learn, you need to upshift and downshift. When you don't have power, downshift, and we need to want more power, upshift. As it's going up. Yeah. Hey! Look at, look at him, he's over here drifting and shit around this corner. That's why he's riding up here, because he wants to be able to drift around this corner right here. Just, just caught him doing it. Watch, we'll catch him doing it again right here, because he ain't going to think I'm going to be looking. He ain't going to realize. Watch when he goes around this corner right here. Watch what he does. Watch it. Oh, he didn't do it that time. He, he did try to do a little bit, but he didn't do it for real. He's in too high of a gear. He doesn't realize he can downshift and do it. So I'm telling him right here. He's got the upshift part figured out, just not the downshift part. Shift down! Shift down! Shift. Now go! He just did it. He just, he just slid around the corner. You see where he's building the little back tires right here? He just upshifts it. You don't think I can hear that shit? I'm like, Silas, dude, I can tell every time you don't pull in the clutch when you're riding. Like, I just hear it. Now downshift. Go, go, you got it. Watch him, watch him. 
<laughs> oh man. I, dude, I got like $250 in that fuller probably. Probably not even that. I don't even think I have that in it. I think I got about 150 bucks in it, maybe, or something. Fun and shit, man. You come out here and let him ride him. He will ride, and that he will ride all day long back there. As long as I just let him, he'll go. He don't give a shit. It's all day long. Then I try to ride it, and he wants to steal it back away from me. Fun, fun. Watch what we're going to do it here. Just you know, think we're looking. So we catch and try to slide around the corner. There he goes. <laughs> That's fun times. But we're getting ready to go get another one. It's a blaster, but it's... This is in really good shape. I mean, the damn thing's new. It was only ridden one season. And, uh, they blew it up. And I, I just met him me and him spent, rebuilt it. Put a new, uh, put another jug on it, another stock jug. Put a factory head back on it. And put it back together. It runs, I mean, it runs good. He can out here ride the, whenever it's out here, he can ride the shit out of it. Look at this big ass tree that fell back here. My brother had a bunch of oak trees fall. <clears throat> there was a, I don't want to call it a tornado, but there was a bad winds that came back through here and it flooded the, the yard all the way up to this deck right here. I, I, let's, let's see if you pull in the clutch or not. Pull it in. Pull it in. Hold it that time. This big ass oak tree fell back here. I took down this street, a little bitty one right here. And uh, I, I got the one right here. I got to start sawing some more of it up. I, I done sawing fucking a shit ton of it up. Uh, I'm going to cut, I think one of these are coming down. I'm going to cut down. And then we got a couple of dead ones right here that I'm going to cut. That's why we're doing it. The guy down the street's going to buy the logs out of this. Because there's a bunch of, like this oak on the ground. I think we can get a 10-foot section of log out of it. There's a 10, a 12-foot section in that. That's great. And of course, we got the whole trunk. And possibly a couple small logs on the, on the little side. The street's going to buy. If you guys ever have trees fall? You guys ever have trees fall? Um, make sure you call somebody that cuts lumber and shit up so you can paint. I got a piece of steel we can fix that with. These railroad ties you got rotted where the creek comes up. Damn railroad tie on the other side rot it completely in half. It's on the ground. It's on the ground right there though. Everybody just rewrite the full wheels back here. Damn, shit's getting looking sketchy. It's got um the bridge is actually built really well. It's got a guardrail underneath that's what's actually holding it up. But and here's the, just the back side of this property. Come back there and ride, do whatever. There must be a beaver dam down the creek somewhere because when it rains, it floods back here. Hold on. I remember when I, was, when I was his age, man, I'd spend hours doing the same shit. I'd take off my four wheeler, my parents wouldn't see me all day long. Silas is that way, trading. He doesn't know what to do. We'll ride until he blows it up and we'll fix it again, redo it again, I guess. Or sell it. I think he might be selling this one, though. If anybody's looking for a good, a good deal on a blaster, we might be selling this one. Maybe. So. I'd give somebody I knew a decent deal on it. You know, I mean, like, I mean, like, literally, it's, it's an exception of the work I did to it brand new. Fenders ain't cracked on it. I have all the parts to put it back completely stock. The only thing I did on it was a torch delete. I 
think. Yeah, Tor's delete, and uh, I did the uh, premix delete on it too. I did it right though. I took when I put the motor back together, I took the uh, pump out and shit. So I did it right. Gonna slide. <laughs> He's gonna wind up flipping that thing right there and bumping his head on the ground and crying. Uh, Cowan, he drove. I the finish showing us. They are expanding their manufacturing operations. Oh yeah. I, yeah, I didn't even know that H in Defense was. Uh, I didn't know they were doing that until today when I was going by there. But well, good for them, man. They deserve it. Plays a good dude, man. If you guys buy a rifle from him, from him they say they give you a five year warranty. I don't care if you. I know somebody, I personally know somebody that bought HM parts because HM didn't have the parts. But I directed them to a bunch of people that rounded up what they wanted and uh, took it to HM Defense and they put the uh, put the upper together for them for the free of charge just because it was HM parts. That dude's a really good dude. I know one person that's had an issue with the, uh, two people, I'm sorry, that's had issues with their rivals. Uh, the first one was just a trigger thing. It wasn't even, it wasn't even a, a big deal. It was just a really heavy trigger. Did he clip it? Oh no, he shut it off. Did you shut it off? Yeah. Shut the gas off? I mean, you really don't have to, but do it anyway. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got to shut the gas off on this. I mean, I rebuilt the carburetor on it, everything. Put all new bearings in it. It's got a rear carrier, new brand new carrier bearings, new wheel bearings, new uh, swing swing arm bearings. Well, they're called pivot arm bearings. Um, gas in it. Huh? Well, we put some gas, a little gas in it. We're getting ready to get that, get that other one. You're going to want to ride in, I'm sure. I mean, if it... it if the gas wanna, is in it. If we want to get it today... We are going to get it. We're going to go get it here in a minute, buddy. Oh, I'm going to ride it. It's just a, one coin already paid for it. I don't know if I got to talk to him. But you still got a little bit of gas in here. Get the, get the gas can. We'll put some in there. Thank you. This thing, it does need tires, though. That's one thing it needs is tires. It needs four new tires two new ones for sure but in these front ones too but back ones it definitely needs them i mean the seat looks brand new i mean yeah i'm sorry about getting this dirty well you start it's a fool buddy it'll wash off here hold this talk to people hello so you're, you're live i know i'm filming you what are you filming me for because they want to see you they want to see me i'm no. ugly no they're not if you're ugly i'm not putting all you... this in here because we got to have some for that other fool yeah if you're ugly then why didn't why I mixed every, mix everything here, put it with see me. I mixed all my all my motor uh, full wheeler stuff 32 to 1 with the usual Yama lube two cycle oil that's real good oil it's mixed nice and thick it's jetted for it I jetted it for this uh mixture I, mean, I jet them all for this mixture Ooh, what happened to your hand right there well, there's gas left in there what happens if you leave the gas on huh what happens if you leave the gas well, on if if the float was bad in the carburetor it would just flood out it would it would uh just the gas would just drain out on the ground but since the, we rebuilt this and we uh, rebuilt the float and shit in it too it doesn't leak you really don't even have to turn it off to be honest with you but i, I just like turning it off in case something was to happen that way it all don't leak out on the ground yeah. here you talk to him for a minute daddy wants to ride for a second i want to keep right, talking okay. Bob. Yeah, I'm doing good today, Tara. Howdy, Johnny. What'd you do? Huh? What'd you do? I didn't do nothing. What do you mean? Oh, shit. Oh, it's because I was stepping on it, my bad. No, no, no. no. Uh, what? No, 
don't stand on it, get off of it. Kick that board down there, kick it. No, no. Here. You said kick it? Here, we'll I'll have to go get a hammer. Get Just don't hit that. Okay, when you drive by, don't hit it. I'll fix it. I wasn't. I'll fix it later. All right, go ahead. Ride. Gas is on, ride. See, yeah, we need to. We got, it's a little leaking a little gas right there. We're gonna do something. It's in first gear. So put it in neutral and start it so it's easier on you. Up or down? Yeah, well, you're in first gear. Let's put it in neutral. I don't know where neutral is. It's between first and second. Up, up a half click. Up. You, you got to make it do it, Salas. Come on. Watch out. When you put it in gear. You got a rocket and then look half click all right you're in neutral roll turn the key on gas is on kick it get some gas don't flood it there you go put it first gear take off that skid plate on the spool when i jumped up on the deck grabbed the other side of that board and pushed it through I have to get my brother back here to lift the side up while I kick this side and get it back in there. Can't believe it did that. Oh well, here's what it is. But anyway, people, I gotta jump off here. I'm gonna help my brother uh, work on his truck real quick. I wanna hop back here and pack it some trees, help him get this done today. But y'all have a spiffy day and stay safe.